Hi everyone, today we'll talk about how PLC outputs work. And you'll notice on the screen here, I have my ladder, my scan, and my output. Now my ladder determines the, the, uh, the outputs that will be fired. At the end of every scan, the outputs are set. And those setting of the outputs could be either on or off. And then they get transferred to the actual physical outputs. And the outputs in discrete application could be a coil, a light, or a motor. So PLC outputs can actually come in two different uh, varieties. The first one being discrete, meaning on and off, and the second one being analog. That gives you a voltage or a current range. Um, typically 4 to 20 for a current, and for a voltage 0 to 10, 1 to 5, something in that um, sequence. So if we look back at the this diagram here, this is all my discrete outputs. So my ladder is, is solved left to right, top to bottom in most PLCs. There are a few exceptions. And at the end of every scan, the output table is then set according to what the ladder logic told it to do. And then it will actually uh, set the physical outputs, which you'll see actually come on, and then that means that whatever's wired to that output then will be energized. Now this typically is about one millisecond. So a thousand times a second, this happens. So it's important to know that you're both setting it and resetting it within that time frame. So the fastest pulse that train we can get, which basically means a series of pulses, is going to be 500 pulses a second. So you need the pulse on time and the pulse off now for a one second one millisecond scan now the other um, form of output would actually be a analog in the analog you actually output a series or a range of values so typically a say an 8-bit resolution would be 256 so your values would go from 0 to 256 that would then be translated to a 4 to 20 milliamp or a 0 to 10 volt and that goes into in their particular case up here a motor drive and that will actually turn the speed of the motor the appropriate amount now for further information if you were to call up our web page and especially uh, what everyone ought to know about parallel logic controller numbering systems um, in here we have a, a, a great way of learning how the numbering systems work and we also go through um, what what it means with the analog and the bit resolutions as well as there's some videos on YouTube about this particular um, uh, website so a lot of information and I encourage you to check that out all right Thanks for watching. Bye.